morning. This video has been all over the place already. We recorded, started recording last night because um, it was kind of an impromptu. We just started doing the table and I didn't want to miss anything. So I started recording last night, not doing the intro until this morning, but anyway. Um, we officially are done, well, with the inside part, sanding, doing the wood glue. And now Bradley's about to put on the legs. So hopefully, I mean, so far it looks really good. So I'm excited to, for it to be done and to show y'all, but let's see how this goes. Starting this vlog off with an update. Current situation. So show me, let's see what they look like. So we got it's in the gray space. Okay, so we put some wood glue in the holes and then now we're putting the little dowel to connect both. And now we are going to glue the boards together. So Bradley just marked that and is now putting the holes in for the little dowel pieces. While Bradley is over there doing that, I'm about to wood putty the crack of both of these so we can sand it and stain it and it looks like one. Bradley's finishing up the last piece. So we've got the legs, the bottom, and the top. And these are all, this is all the inside. So all these will be flipped. But I've tried our, the stain that we have. And this is what it looks like on that piece of wood. And I think that's too dark. So we're going to have to go back and try something else out. So Bradley's putting on the legs. Did you sand this part? No, I'll do that afterwards. So we've done the wood glue all on the inside pieces. We still have to do it on the outside, but looks really good. So my meat eating neck dream. Might put the top on. Wow. I'm pretty excited. Yeah. Okay. The final piece going on. We still got a sand and stuff. We are gonna get glue everywhere. Right there. We just nailed, we just nailed her down. Wow. Holy cow, it looks so good, I feel like. She's heavy. She a heavy girl. Okay, now Bradley is just feel, filling the rest of the holes with some wood putty. Then we'll have to sand it down and stain it. Okay. Last time I'm coming here. You're expensive. Please. Gonna try out this stain. Would you like? Yo, go dogs with that guy. <laughs> with his George shirt on. <laughs> so go dogs. <laughs> Okay, hopefully that's the last time we come to Home Depot. Probably got, got a, blower a blower and got another stain and hopefully this one works. So we'll see. Gonna go back and stain it third and then we'll be done. The charm. Yeah, this is our third time coming here.
Looks so good. Picked a stain, and now I'm staining it. I think it looks pretty good. See the difference? Yeah. I feel like it looks really good. Okay. I just got done staining, and I think it looks pretty good. So I've got to let it dry, and then we'll probably move it inside. We just brought in the table. The labor of love. Yeah. So we'll give you all an update tomorrow morning. I think it looks pretty good. I think it looks good too. Plot twist again. <laughs> I went back to Home Depot, got a different stain, and I'm staining the already stained table. So we need it to be a little bit darker, and I think this is perfect. So we're just winging it, and we'll see. We'll see how it goes. Hey y'all. So this is the final product. I ended up using, um, so this is the stain that I used first, and then I just went over it in Summer Oak. And this is what we ended up with, and I feel like it looks pretty good. It's a little bit darker than I think we were thinking, but I feel like, it looks good, so I'm gonna let that dry and then we'll move it inside and see how it looks. It is Tuesday and Bradley is currently sitting with his feet sitting up on the pretty coffee table. So we are done with it, I think. I'm not sure, I might stain it a different color. <laughs> we'll see. Um, <laughs> I kinda need to get, get y'all's opinions on it, but. Who um, knows, this coffee table may forever be a work in progress. It might, always, so. Here it is. Ha! Ah. You want to put your feet down? Sorry. Dad got to pay extra for that. Oh. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> That's funny. Um, so here it is. I I feel like I just go back and forth with feeling like I, we need to restain it and it being good. I don't know, but it turned out like The cool thing about doing your own coffee table is you can stain it as many times as you want. Yes. The actual table itself is was built like so great. So the stain, I'm not even worried about the stain. Like yeah, the actual I mean, show table. Them these, show them these lines. Like I mean, it's, it's like it's perfect. Good. It's well made. It's thank very you, well you, made. Thank you very much. Yes. So this is it. I have some coworkers that are probably gonna watch this video that were talking crap crap about <laughs> my cutting abilities because I don't do this for a living. Well, you know what? Look at I that. I bet your wives are proud of how good this table looks. Yeah, it looks really good. So, so there she is. I um, actually posted a blog post on how we did it with um, instructions and what we used. So, I will tag or link the blog post below in the description if y'all are interested. Um, but... Now, honestly, it took us, what, two days, two full days, and we had never done anything like that before. So I would say it's definitely not, I mean, we're beginners, so it's for beginners, but I will say that to make it a lot easier, it um, needed tools. Is it, is it raining outside? No, I don't think so. I see rain or something. Um, but... So I hope y'all enjoyed this video and make sure to follow me on Instagram. I'll also share all the details on Instagram and, and save it all to a highlight. Um, but I hope y'all enjoyed the video and there's going to be lots more to come. So we're very excited. All right, Bradley. Right. <laughs> Bye.